Okay, so let's go for a little snow action. Um, just leaving the endured. And I thought that maybe it would be interesting to see snow work being done. So, yeah, you see, this is how it looks like today. Um, it has snowed quite a lot. I've already cleared a little bit here cleared the solar panels and now I go and clear the way all the way take you with me all the way down to the to the road and um, after that we will go to the um, to the tent that you can see over there this is where another fellow is living who currently is not home so and that tent has to be dug out so how about i start telling a little bit about snow you might have heard that in finnish we have many different words for snow um, and that's mainly due to the different properties of snow so you can see this snow is you see how it kind of piles up together and this is yeah it's quite heavy snow it's wet snow um, when snow falls at temperatures um, around zero um, maybe I'll take some some into my hand so you can see like See, you can take pieces and this is almost like you know you can make really nice quick snowballs with that kind of snow um, also very nice snow for making snowmans or snow people so if I just roll this you can see it will just get bigger quite quite fast because it will just attach to itself and I almost need two hands for it so you can see the trail how get it got bigger and bigger and bigger yeah so this is really the the perfect weather for building building stuff with uh, snow in that way um, and yeah it's quite heavy snow, quite wet, um, quite dense, lots of water in it and that, that kind of snow is unpleasant to remove once it's frozen. So the nice thing about it, it's, it's quite easy to move because it's so soft but it's also quite heavy and as you can see just after Maybe two meters, we already have a pile uh, like this thing filled. And you can also see that um, you see these edges kind of coming in these trails. So it's good to create these little exit points, exit points where I can push this to the side and out of the way. Yeah, so here we are at the well. Quickly clear the way to the well. Very good water. Yeah, extremely grateful for this well. So you see this snow is quite easy to move. Um, but it also needs to be done. And You see how this snow is quite heavy. You see these trees being pushed and bent down. Um, so also the roof of this barn here, it has collapsed in this winter. Um, yeah, it's a sad story. 
like I, I rent this piece of land here and um, have the permission to live on it with my yurt and oops and um, yeah the land owners they don't care about the buildings here like also this building is not in a state to live in anymore the sauna is not in a good state so it's kind of sad to see these buildings rotting away and if I would have the knowledge that I can be here for many many more years then I would take care of these buildings I would invest my own time and money and resources for keeping them alive because obviously they're valuable resources but yeah it's um, the landowners don't have any interest in keeping these buildings alive at some point they might tear them down and build something new or sell the land i don't know what is their plan and yeah particularly this barn i find it really sad because just a couple of years ago like three three and a half four or four years ago when i was here first time it would have been quite easy to to rescue them just take the old tar paper roof off and put a tin roof on yeah yeah you can see that this building these kind of ramps on the side is uh, it's quite i think it's quite smart to make them as long as possible because then they are quite flat and you don't have to push the heavy snow up and especially like later when there might be more snow these will naturally become still very much higher and yeah if you're ever living somewhere where snow is falling it's good to remove the snow when you can I know some people just walk on it or drive with their bikes on it if you have fat tires you can do that the thing is when you walk on it you can you, you will compress the snow kind of push the air out and make it harder more ice like and that would be really really hard to remove so here in this place that our species calls Finland <laughs> um, yeah it's something that you know when some people don't like to exercise or don't feel like they're in this physical state to exercise or are not in this physical state to exercise and yeah the snow of course doesn't ask do you want to exercise or not oh. Oh. so it has to be done the snow work I'll take an exit here Oop. Yeah, once I'm down at the driveway, at the end of the driveway, I'm sure that the snow plow has pushed all the snow from the road into my driveway. And that means that it's snow that is mixed. You know, it just didn't fall only on top of each other. It's snow that is mixed. Oh, yeah, yeah. And once snow that, snow that has fallen at different temperatures in different times, when that snow gets mixed it will connect quite tightly it will freeze into very solid structures which is something that can be used when building snow shelters yeah yeah i i hope that i can also show you actually i have a video on the channel if you search for the fluffy snow or something it's called there you can see very different kind of snow you know, snow that has fallen at very low temperatures usually it doesn't snow anymore once it's colder than i don't know minus 10 celsius or something at least it's quite rare then um, so now I need to get an exit again here. Yeah. Need to 
to be careful here because I know in some places there are some berry bushes. I don't want to bury the berry bushes. Let's see if we can see some tracks soon. Usually when there's like when it's fresh snow, it's like a big eraser. Like blanking the whole paper again and hiding all the tracks that have oh yeah, yeah. you can see it's pushing almost two meters in front of me the snow so after fresh snow many species like to stay put they don't want to be the first ones leaving tracks that will lead someone to them because of course when you see some tracks you know that at the end of the track will be somebody who made the tracks <laughs> you get a hill of grunting sounds from me here Ah, so beautiful, huh? Look at how everything is covered in snow. Really, really nice. But yeah, heavy snow is like, things have changed since I moved to Finland. Like, temperatures have gone up and it's more cloud cover and more um, more snowfall like it used to be that house roofs needed to be built to to a standard of withstanding 200 kilos of snow load per square meter and in the last years a lot of roofs have collapsed like so that houses are not we almost I think need a new standard or make our roof stronger or something. Yeah, we shouldn't build new houses. So soon you can see uh, something else that is coming with these kind of winters. You see these darker spots here. So I need to be quite careful here. This is very Slippery, there's ice under the snow. So, when this is also something that is quite new, is to have a lot of days of plastic wreaths or around zero in the winters, which is usually like used to be that the snow that falls in November will still be there as the first layer, lowest layer in April and now we have snow melting and thawing and new snow coming and these different layers of snow and ice like when I now go into into this, oh this is all quite new still here we go a bit deeper in, you can see first layer, harder ice push through, soft layer, hard ice, again hard layer, soft hard, soft hard, there was a hard layer and it's still going deeper and deeper, so I don't know if this is really visible, but you have hard ice layers in here, softer layers, harder layers and now you saw like it took a little bit of effort for me to make this hole here and it's like really, you know, it's like this is really ice. This is not snow. It's really solid layer of ice. And there is a, are a lot of fellow animals who do live under the snow or seek shelter in the snow, dig holes in the snow. And like, imagine you're a forest chicken bird, like grouse from the last season, the youngest generation not very strong yet and depending how was the year 
like how was the season with the food, how was the autumn. You might be stronger or weaker going into the winter and then getting into this snow or through these layers of snow might be impossible for, for these younger, not so strong birds. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have winters like this one might be one like, you know, when you have these soft, hard, soft layers where the young ones can't get through anymore. And then we have these days and nights of minus 20 Celsius or minus 30 Celsius and they can't seek shelter and they freeze to death and yeah yeah no new tracks usually here this area lots of squirrels being busy here and hares crossing through here there's hazel grouse living in these areas lots of ravens flying over here they usually don't land here Sometimes they sit in the trees. Oh, yeah. Oh. <sighs> yeah, so this kind of snow work, this is <laughs> some of the activities that are part, I wouldn't say, of everyday life. But there are days where you do this. Oh, there's a berry bush. Don't want to go there. So there are days where you have to do it once or twice if you don't want to have too much work. It's easier to do it twice than doing it. So here you see a lot of ice under. So I don't want to um, take the top layer off. Like I don't want to go too deep. Keep this little layer on that might attach to the ice because snow is obviously not as slippery as ice so here a little downhill and not that much snow because of the spruce trees that really shelter shelter this part so here it's easier to move and okay i think maybe this is long enough video um, yeah, you've seen now 80 minutes of snow work <laughs> from the door to here. Um, and yeah, it, I th it's very satisfying in a way. You see, you see the progress you make and it's somehow something really nice. And you see it's snowing again, snow falling again. Ah, there you see a car by the road. Oh, I don't know. But you see the neighbor houses over there. And yeah, this is also snow that might get stuck to your skis. So if it's so warm, you have to wax the skis um, so that the snow doesn't get attached to them. When it's really wet snow, you can have like 12 kilos or something of snow attached to a ski. <laughs> and you're, it's almost like walking on heavy high heels. Um, yeah. I really enjoy this snow. It's very nice. It's nice to have snow to work with as long as it's not too much and crushing the buildings. And yeah, okay. So I'll leave you with a little view into the into the woods here. Have a good time. Thank you. Bye bye.